if there's anything this packing experience has taught me, it's that I am an elite packer. It's elite. It is elite. It's becoming elite. It is, if it's a sport, I'm winning. If it's a sport. So, you might as well just drop out of the race now. <laughs> doing in there <laughs> last night i packed up things from my closet and i put them in the wardrobe box i really love the wardrobe boxes because i'm just popping things literally straight from the closet into the box on the hangers oh my god it literally saves so much time like when the movers come and they you know do their thing i'm just all right let's get right in let's start organizing hey girl hey girly what's up how are you? I'm good. If I really want to be efficient, I cannot vlog and talk and listen to music. I don't know why I'm playing with these scissors. I did not expect to take that long to do this. Like, I thought this was going to be super fast. But then once I started really sorting through things, I was like, oh. Morning, gang. I just stopped packing the car. Like, come on, packing, you see that? This looks so good, it's so perfect. Yeah, so I got the car packed, I'm super hyped, I'm about to get on the road, and let's go get my keys. <laughs> good morning. Good morning, how are you? Good, how are you? Hi. I'm good. You can have a seat. Okay. I've been grinding, I've been grinding all day and night literally to get this done. The room is really bare bone. Here's mo basically all of my boxes except for the dishes. Um, I paid for eight boxes, so that's exactly what I did. I'm thinking I should have maybe gotten three of these instead of the smaller ones, but whatever. Good morning, it's Black Friday. Literally had the best Thanksgiving yesterday and now I'm ready to put my family to work. In all seriousness though, it's been a real emotional roller coaster. Like, but we're here, we're alive, that's all that matters. Thanks guys for your help, I appreciate you guys. Of course. Yeah, thanks. I'm getting covered with this. Yeah, I am. Oh! 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 Last night, I literally didn't finish until, this is really funny to me because they're like doing their thing and I'm like over here like throwing on makeup. Um, but yeah, last night I literally didn't um, finish unpacking the things that I had at the apartment until like 6.30. Maintenance came, they unpacked the drain and stuff, but I was so tired that I was just supposed to go to a Friendsgiving and I never made it. Oops. Oh. Well, the movers got here really early. Like I got here before eight, and they came literally before eight. So like we damn near got here at the same time. Shout out to E Square Moving. They're literally the best in the game. They, they got here. We start. They started at seven fifty-seven. It's eight oh two, and everything is already sitting at the elevator door. Like, come on. They're based in Brooklyn. If you're in New York and you need movers, they are the best. They are reasonably priced. They are fast. They are good. It is quality work. You are missing out. And you get to watch everything go down behind me as I do my makeup right here on the floor. Out the way. I was gonna do this before they got here, but they literally got here before eight o'clock. So I was like, oh my God. Guess my plans this morning are done. They're done. But yeah, last night I really wanted to make it to my friend's Friendsgiving, but I was just so dead after. Like I was moving for so many hours. My body was like hurting. Like I felt my body getting tired. And when it does that, with the lack of sleep, like I get sick. And like, I don't wanna get sick. I have things to 
I was gonna throw that in my car. Wow, that saved me a lot of energy. They are great people. So I'm on the road now. I cannot believe, I just need to do a time check. <clears throat> it's 8.35 and I've already been in the car for like two minutes. Like I told y'all they were gonna be finished in like 30 minutes and under. Like as long as your stuff is, is ready to go, it was only two guys and they loaded the truck in under 30 minutes. Like that is just so impressive. I, I don't know why, I don't know why I'm so impressed. I don't know if that's normal, but they be doing their freaking thing. Yo, it was so embarrassing. I, oh my God, my bed. <laughs> yeah. Yo, I have so much to do. I don't even want to think about it. I really wish that I was able to pick up the camera within these last few months, but it's just been really hard. I just feel like I've been, I feel like I've been feeling so scattered and it was hard for me to put that energy towards creating content and like filming and like all the things I love to do. It's really just been a lot. Like even moving in here, I had freaking like bawled my eyes out after I signed the lease. Like it was just like such a bittersweet moment of like, oh, I'm so proud of myself for getting my own apartment. But it's also like, oh, I'm going to really miss Jersey City and like everything that came with the area. I just love the vibes. Like I feel like now that I'm working this like real regular, not to drag my job, but like boring nine to five, like office wise, the office is boring. It's like, okay, I'm sitting there working and I come home and it's like, if I was in Jersey City, I come home and it's like vibrant. Not saying being here, there's no energy, there's no people, but it's not the same from like being in the city to like being in the suburbs, obviously, so. I was really, when I was reflecting about this move, I was just like, why do I feel like this one was a little bit longer than my last move? And I think it's because like, last year I was just like, not last year, but like, you know, whatever, two months ago, I was like unemployed and Unpacking was, packing and unpacking was like easier because I didn't really have like anything stopping me from doing what I wanted at the time. Like if I wanted to pack at 1 a.m., I was gonna pack at 1 a.m. Like I didn't have a responsibility the next day. But like going to work, is this too loud? Hold on. But like going to work and packing and doing all that stuff throughout the week was just so draining. Especially because I also continue to live far from my job and this apartment. So it was just like a lot of moving around, a lot of planning, and it was the holidays. So it was like, okay, who's around? Like, what's gonna be open? Like, what can I get done? You know, like it was just really a lot to plan because of the holidays and because of the location. Seasoning, seasoning, seasoning. I'm really good at hitting my head on things, so I'm really trying to be careful. <laughs> Good at that, okay. <laughs> I've never seen her get so handy before. Look at her with that screwdriver. <laughs> Very good timing with this move. Most of my stuff was on sale because of Black Friday, which was lit. Let me tell you right now, it was lit. I cannot wait to set up my Echo tomorrow. I'm the type of person to live in a smart house. And all I want to do is live in a home that has technology for everything. Could you imagine though? Like, I would literally give my left hit to be living in a smart house. Like, just for like a week. Oh, so I'm in my eye. Nestwell. That's the Bed Bath & Beyond brand. Yeah, I guess so if it's exclusively there. It's really nice stuff though. I feel like I usually buy the Nestle items. I never buy the shower curtain rods that have the two prong sided things because it slips off every single time. I know from personal experience, 
I'm giving you a heads up. Get the ones that close. One is so I forgot the camera on. Two. Why am I an idiot and I missed a hole? It's not to sleep. I'm signing off.